Right, we've, we've updated our um, mid-range hunter deck. We thought maybe we don't really need six drop or savannah high main so much. We've got two chandrones still. We've got to the wing blast because we actually never draw it. Dark frenzy. It's pretty good. You put it on a small minion, and then you do master score. So. We, we're investing a bit more in Dark Frenzy and we put two Timberwolves in because we realise that we've only got beasts in our deck so even though this is underwhelming in a regular Hunter deck because you've got other minions like Hound Master which doesn't have the benefit of Timberwolf but this literally gives you one attack so if you've got about four or five different minions that's effectively actually like five attack just for one mana so it's much more efficient than Houndmaster. Um, yeah, we'll give it a try. See how this goes. We don't have a silence in the deck still, but the idea is to win quickly enough that you wouldn't. Hopefully, you wouldn't need the silence. Okay, wow, we're, face, we're actually facing a druid in this matter. Well, it's going to be embarrassing if we lose this. We've got an extremely low win rate. I mean, what's, what's the only deck which actually does moderately well still? There was one deck. Was it um, Spiteful Druid, I think? Taunt Druid, okay, Spiteful Druid. Yeah, it's probably Spiteful Druid. Do we coin out this uh, risk? Yeah. We've got to take a risk here. Is he going to play two fireflies? That's best then. Okay. Okay, we've got Rex on. Looks like it's going late, which is not good against the priest. Against the priest, you want to get going quickly. I bet every time people get a wild ghost. Do you have to have one for us? Wow. Yeah, come on. Give me something. Give me something. Master school, cracking ways and more. Okay, that's good. Next turn, die frenzy. Hopefully, you won't be able to kill this. <laughs> Three of those in the deck, and we can die frenzy and death frenzy. Ah, oh, what a shame! What a shame! Okay, it doesn't make much of a difference because he's a full health anyway. But die frenzy, this would be really good. Oh no, it's one of those decks. One of those days, triple threat decks. No! <laughs> uh, stop it. Juicy Psych Melon. What plays Juicy Psych Melon? Is that the new Taunt Druid deck with the um, Undertaker? If something cheap. Right, um. May 
may as well put this down. Let's just do it. See, guys, it's so quick. Interesting. One minute. No, 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 no. I feel better at doing this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't kill it. Oh no. I wonder. Five, six. Seven. No, I'm going to mess this up. I messed this up. to kill that. That's more shouldn't help me too much. Alright, okay. Um still. I can start buffing this up big time. So if I can buff this up to a 9 with wind fuel, it's 18 damage. Yeah. 2 for 8. Yeah, I've got a triple buff on this. I don't think you can kill it with a frost moon. Okay. Hmm. I think that was a mistake. Something which is going to come on. Look 
Look at this. Look at this, boys. Look at that. Oh, what a win. <laughs> Getting a bit close there. Oh, that was really nice. Yeah, the, everything came together. The Dive Frenzies were fantastic there. Death Deathstalker Rex are the crackling razor mall going off the charts and the timber walls are fantastic. Yeah, that, that deck worked absolutely perfectly there. Despite the slow start. That was really nice. Yeah. Cool, okay, thanks for watching. I hope you like this new updated version of the deck. I think it's a bit stronger, but I've still got to get used to it. Um, leave any comments telling me what you think of it. Thanks very much. Bye.